Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing my three and a half month collective haul. The reason why I'm doing this is because I had posted a picture of a couple of things that I had got, I had purchased the past month and I asked on Instagram if people would prefer just a video, um, a, a video haul or a blog post on my haul. The majority of people voted that they wanted a video haul, so here I am doing a video haul. But I also will um, be doing a blog post to accompany this video as well, if you guys want to see swatches and whatnot. So basically, everything I'm going to be talking about in this video was purchased by myself, either with my own money or from Christmas money or gift cards or coupons and whatnot. But um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I don't know what order I got. I purchased all of these in, so I'm just going to kind of go with whatever I grabbed. Let's go ahead and start with what I got for Valentine's Day and um, my husband had asked me what I wanted and I really didn't want anything at first but of course being a girl that being the girl that I am I just hinted that maybe I could use some new brushes because a girl can never have too many brushes but it is a pain in the butt when you have to wash the brushes he ended up getting me the Mrs. Bunny essential brush kit from Sigma it comes in a box like this it's super pretty and cute look at this it has this cute little flap on top I accidentally ripped it but I actually love the packaging and then here's the brushes itself here's the brush holders that you could take with you when you travel and they just snap and these are what the brushes look like I'm going to actually be doing a review on these on my blog because I know a lot of you are curious about these synthetic brushes and how they compare to the natural brushes. That's what I got for Valentine's Day. My husband did take us out to a lovely dinner and it was just us two. I just love him to pieces. And then next, um, when I went to the mall with my mother-in-law, she was looking for something at Sephora. I think she was looking for... Uh, dry shampoo or something like that and I was in the market for a toner and I um, a toner and a highlighter I believe so the funny thing was um, I had helped her purchase or I had helped her pick out a dry shampoo and I think she got the Ojean a dry sh uh, shampoo spray and she really uh, ended up liking that one and as I was going to pay for my own stuff um, she just decided that she would pay for whatever I was gonna get which I thought was such a kind gesture. I love my mother-in-law. She's like the sweetest person ever. But she ended up getting me um, my Lancome Tonique Comfort. This is the uh, rehydrating toner for dry skin because my skin is extremely dry right now because of the pre of my pregnancy and because of the weather. So I, you can see I've used quite a bit of this and it smells amazing like lychee jelly or something. But I love this smell. It smells amazing and then also what um, I was unsure about it because it was so expen expensive and it was a splurge for me at the time and I kept going back and forth with this but she ended up purchasing it for me she insisted and I was like oh my god but I was so happy because I finally got this I've been wanting this forever and a couple of you that follow my blog know that I've been wanting this particular highlighter forever and it's the Christian Dior um, shimmer powder in amber diamond I love how it has the C and the D hologram thingy in there but that's what I got it looks like this it's super pretty such a beautiful highlighter I love I love it swatches will be on my blog before I went to the mall with her like a couple weeks before that I was really lemming the I really wanted the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because I had heard so many reviews about it and raves that it was an amazing bronzer I went ahead and got it and this is what it looks like so this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Original Chocolate Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa. That is a mouthful, but that's what it says on the back. And this is what it looks like. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. It smells like freaking cocoa or chocolate. It smells good. Like, I'm so tempted to, like, 
lick this because that's how good it smells. I want to eat it. But that's what I got. And then um, my husband and I went to the to a different mall with our really close friends, um, Marilyn and Rick. Hi, guys. And we went to Kiehl's. So um, it was my first time purchasing anything from Kiehl's. I ended up getting the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Gel Cream, which is for normal to oily skin types. And so they recommended this to me since I'm kind of still a little bit oily in the T-zone. But then um, I'm, I use this during the daytime. They gave me two samples of these actually, which is their Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And they recommended that I use this at nighttime. And they were saying once I'm done with my pregnancy, my skin's probably going to get extremely dry, which I, I don't doubt it. Um, they said I should probably switch to this one because currently I'm using this as a night cream. And then... When I went to Ulta, like, God, I don't remember when, with my mom and um, Karen, my brother's girlfriend, she actually picked this up for me. It's the DDF, which is Doctor's Dermatologic Formula Glycolic 10% Tony Complex. It claims to minimize appearance of wrinkle, of wrinkle lines, refine skin texture, and visibly decrease the look of pore size, which I actually think it did for me because when I first started using this, I had really big pores and blackheads on my nose and um, on my cheeks. But I only use this at night, and I've you know, I really can tell a difference. The, the pores on my nose are like smaller now, as well as my cheeks, and I'm not that as oily as I was, but I think this works really well for me. So I love this. I want to stress to you all that I did not purchase these all at once because there's 10 of these, but, and I was searching everywhere for them, but it's the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoos and this one is in Bad to the Bronze, which this is, I think, one of my favorites. I will show you. I absolutely love this. Love, 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 love this. And I have all 10 of them. And then the same thing goes for these L'Oreal 24-hour infallible eyeshadows. I didn't pick these up all at once, but I do have six of them, I believe. Yeah, six. And this is the color in... Um, eternal black it comes with oops, it comes with this little plunger thing I guess to keep it pressed I'm always afraid that it's gonna fall out but I guess it's not that I guess that's what this is for but I guess that's this also keeps it from drying out so the colors that I got were eternal black um, midnight blue Perpetual Purple, Bronze Taupe, Golden Sage, and lastly, uh, Iced Latte. I was in the market for a new powder, and I originally had purchased, because I had a gift card to Sephora, I purchased the Laura Mercier uh, Mineral powder but then I didn't like it at all it was just not enough coverage for me and the makeup artist at Sephora had recommended me the Urban Decay Surreal, Surreal Skin Mineral Makeup and this is in the color Nirvana and it comes like this I actually like how the makeup artist applied it on me which was basically she screwed off the top and then used the product with a brush and the brush that she recommended was actually the Sephora mineral powder brush number 45 it looks like this I'm sure you've seen this in my last video um, I use this in my last video for the tutorial I really like this powder I really like how this works with um, the Urban Decay Brightening Face Primer, which I also received as a sample, and she gave me such a generous sample, which I'm absolutely thrilled about because they work very well together. So when I'm done with this, I'm most likely going to be purchasing it because it works really well. It really hydrates the dry spots because that's where she told me to put it, and it works very well. And then while I was at the mall, I was also looking for a new under eye concealer because every concealer that I've tried usually cakes up or you can tell I have this really deep crease under my right eye and it's very annoying but I haven't found anything to that actually helped 
the dark circles or anything. Um, and I asked a good friend of mine, Rachel, you know her as Love Blend in Beauty on YouTube. Hi, Rach. Um, she really recommended this for me, and it's the MAC Select Moisture Cover concealer so that's what I've been using and you've probably seen this in my last tutorial that I've used this as well and so far so good I do also want to try the MAC Pro Longwear concealer only because I heard really good things about that so I'm gonna see if I could get a sample of that and while I was there at MAC the makeup artist had also recommended me to purchase the vibrancy eye um, under eye primer because you know my problem was uh, concealers settling in my fine lines so she gave me a sample which was a really generous sample this is what it looks like and you only need a little bit so I think this is gonna go a long way and then I had heard so many good things about this foundation and unfortunately this foundation is not available in the U US I had to purchase this off of eBay it's the bourgeois healthy mix serum gel foundation which says it's supposed to last for 16 hours and um, I don't know about lasting 16 hours but I've used this for my baby shower I've had it I had it on like in the morning until late at night it wasn't 16 hours it was probably like 10 the most and it lasted very long and it's supposed to be a light coverage a semi matte finish and it smells amazing. It smells like fruits or something. And it has pictures here of like strawberries and berries and stuff. So that's what it looks like. And I'm in the number 53, which is uh, light beige. And so far I've been really loving it. And I also picked up the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer in the color Nude. But that's what it looks like and I also use this under my eyes on the, the my the bridge of my nose and uh, really like that and really really I actually been really liking this it's very like liquidy creamy or creamy right where we're almost done and then I saw this at Walgreens when I was on the hunt for the the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoos and it's the kiss eyelashes and this was a double pack and these were super pretty I thought and I actually use this for my baby shower they're very very natural and girly looking I don't have them on now I don't know why I'm doing that but I love these this little easy applicator thing that's supposed to help you um, put them on the ends are too thick so it didn't help at all I just ended up using my tweezers to put them on but that's that. I finally saw the Milani Illuminating Face Powders. It's a new product from Milani and it's a highlighter bronzer, I think. Yeah, it's their ultra smooth highlighter, bronzer, and blush. And this one is an amber nectar. This is what it looks like. It's extremely beautiful in pan as well. But when I put it on my face, it's more more of like a highlighter than a bronzer or anything. I think their darker one that they have that I didn't get is more of like a highlighter slash blush. But this one is just as pretty. For Christmas, because I have to talk about this, for Christmas I purchased the Naked 2 palette and it looks like this. And I'm actually going to have a post on my blog comparing this and the naked the original naked palette because I also have that and I love that palette as well as I love this palette because I think they go they complement each other very well and they work hand in hand together and then I believe uh, Urban Decay was having a sale on their Book of Shadows 4 eyeshadow palette which it normally retails for $64 but they were having a sale for 40 where it was going for $44 and they were having free shipping on things that were 35 and over and then I found out there was a sorry I'm banging and then I found out there was a um, coupon code like a my glam coupon code for the urban decay book of shadows for for $15 off so I ultimately got this palette for $29 this is what the palette looks like such beautiful colors to work with I really like like these colors comes with the eye perversion liquid eyeliner which I'm not a fan of the the, the tip on this eyeliner um, there comes a mascara urban decay primer potion a USB and a speaker which you're supposed to use in conjunction with them 
with with uh, the card. I guess it has a scanner thing and it shows teaches you how or has some looks on on how you can use the palette to create different kind of looks if you scan this. Okay, I swear I'm almost done. And then I found this at Walgreens, which is the SE Lux Effects a Lux Effects nail polish in a cut above, and I'm a sucker for these glittery nail polishes even though I don't really do my nails that often, but pink glitter. I had to. had to get it. And then I also found a cheaper one, which was from Milani, the Jewel FX, and this is in silver. So I, had, I went ahead and picked that up. Sorry, the light, the sun went down super fast, so I had to put on, turn on this light. So sorry, it's like reflecting off my glasses but whatever I went to Mac recently I wanted to pick up some of the lipsticks from their newest collection the Mac cook Mac shop collection or whatever it's called and I ended up picking up quick sizzle which I wore for my baby shower as well which you could see on my last tutorial or blog post and it's basically just a really pretty hot pink lipstick that's matte and I also picked up the Runaway Red. This is the package that it comes with. It's just like an insert, it's regular packaging. I haven't tried this on yet, but it's basically just a deep red. It's beautiful. So that's what I got from MAC recently, recent, most, most recently. And I also picked up the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion because I was running low on my travel size that I picked up like more than three months ago. Oh, it's super black. Like I mentioned, I'll go ahead and have swatches on my blog. And then I was at Target, I think I was picking up stuff for the baby shower, and I just so happened to see these because I believe I saw it on Holly Annery's video, I think it was her video, this lipstick. And this is the Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick in Perpetual Peony. And it looks like this, it's just a pretty, pretty pink lipstick, that's what it looks like. And it smells like candy, I don't know what, it smells like bubble gum or something, but I like it. And then I also, I think I saw this on Riss Rose, Riss Rose's channel as well. It's the Maybelline Superstay 10, 10, I don't know, 10 stain gloss, 10 hour, is it supposed to be 10 hour? Yeah, up to 10 hour wear. And this is in the color, jeez Louise, Berry Heavenly. And this is what it looks like. I got this at CVS, it was on sale for like $2, so I had to get it, and it was the last one, and I've oh, I've been wanting to try this forever because I hear so many people rave about it, especially Heart, Heart, I got this because of you, so if I don't like it, I'm just kidding, but it's the HD Advanced Concealer um, from Milani, now this one is just like the YSL one where you click it and then you use it, and then lastly, oh my god, I think this was like three months ago, or yeah, three and a, I don't know, three months ago, the Kate Moss came out with a couple of lipsticks, and I had picked up her Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick in the color number 08. I don't know if this is a name, but it says here Rosetto. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like my lip color, but better, which is awesome. So really liking that. Holy moly, I think that is it. That was everything that I had picked up in the last three and a half months, and I don't think I'm going to purchase any more friggin' makeup for the next six months because um, I'm probably going to do a Project 10 pen. But we'll see, though, because I don't know. But I think that's pretty much it. I did ask on my blog, and I might as well ask here if you guys want me to do a vlog haul on the things that I had gotten as gifts from my baby shower a couple of people had said yes they want to see a video because they want to see baby stuff because baby stuff is so cute so let me know in the comments down below or tweet me facebook me whatever you want to do thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um go ahead and visit my blog and everything that i listed in this video will be on my blog and i'll link that down below 
so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so thanks again for watching until next time bye